Oh crap, they've got multiple ships coming in. They've got a support ship as well. Thankfully, our reinforcements are soon to arrive. We should have enough ships to take out a frigate. But, look, here they are. First contact, everyone. This is not good. And we have no defences here. So, how big is this fleet? Uh, okay. We've got a marathon class. We've got a bunch of destroyers. Yeah, we should be more than a match for a single frigate. It's just we've got to hope that he doesn't send any more. Hello, frigate. Just sit in there. Ooh. <laughs> they are ominous, aren't they? Very ominous. Um, oh, let's get some more military labs going up. We've got certain worlds that aren't actually building anything right now. So, like this world. Uh, let's get another military lab going. Let's also get ourselves on a commercial station. We need to expand the trade network. We've got commercial stations here, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we've got loads. Um, we can probably build a bunch more destroyers here. Actually, probably want some carriers for this fleet as well. So we'll start constructing our um, sort of new fleet here. Have we researched the Artemis yet? Oh, we have! Oh, let's build an Artemis. Can we build capital ships here? Oh, uh, we can't build capital ships, so we don't have a capital ship thing. Um, we'll have to build a capital ship dockyard here. Capital shipyard, right. How are we doing engaging the Covenant? Oh, here we go! We're engaging them! We're engaging them! They've launched their ships! Okay, here we go. Say so our class frigate, and I watch as this just devastates our fleet. We've got them on a tight formation. Okay, there we go. We filed our first Mac round. Look at that, that's called shot actually, I like that. That could be a that could be um that could be a thumbnail. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Okay, we've got a support ship here as well. Watch as this just bounces off their off their shields. Boom. But thankfully, we have enough ships that boom, dead. Just obliterated. But see, if we didn't have enough alpha damage to take him out, then we would have had some serious problems. Look at that. Alpha damage, bam, wiped out. But if you don't wipe them out within a second, then you're stuffed. That's the way the Covenant dynamic works. I'm so glad we have Sadar, though. Oh, hello, they've got more. <gasps> okay, hello, they're getting a bit more serious now. We've got a CCS class battle cruiser. This is much tougher. This is a much tougher cookie. Uh, and of course, they're attacking Harvest first, the one place that's the least developed. Oh, no, they're sending a lot of ships. Holy balls. Okay, um, we're going to send some reinforcements while we're building defences. Harvest is not ready. Harvest is not ready for this. Have our reinforcements arrived? Oh, they have. Okay. Okay, I want this whole fleet to fall back to here. I want them all to link up. We do have an Artemis here, right? We have a Valiant. Okay, we don't have an Artemis, but we do have a Valiant. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. I want this fleet to link up and then engage that battle cruiser. Okay, we've got one battle cruiser, a light cruiser, and let's have a look at their force. Okay, two battle cruisers and a light cruiser. Right. Here we go. Engage them. I've got reinforcements incoming as well. Because, oh crap, they're sending more ships. Okay, uh, this is really bad. This is unbelievably bad. Hello, are these, what are these ships? Oh, these are um, ships from these dockyards. Right. Head straight to Harvest. You know what, I'm going to set the, the rally point. Rally point for this dockyard is just Harvest. Head straight there. Um, and the rally point for all the ships being built at Sigma Octanus is going to be... Kenroku. Okay, these guys are on their way. So we've got the first fleet on their way to uh, assist. Oh, it's just my luck that they would invade the one world so we haven't got um, defences, isn't it? Oh, that's so irritating. So unbelievably irritating. You can't save Harvest now. You know what? The sad thing is you're probably right. You are probably right, Prophet of Regret. This is, uh... 
This doesn't bode well. We might want to wait for reinforcements, actually, before we do anything, because... Yeah. This is really bad. So what we're going to do is actually stall here. We're going to stop our forces, and we're going to wait for the reinforcements, and then uh, we're going to attack with both fleets at once. Because as I said, the UNSC is all about alpha damage, and it's all about overwhelming numbers. I'm not going to take any risks here, and I'm going to wait for those reinforcements before we do anything. However, we've got quite a few credits to be spending in the meantime, and we need to sort out our research, because we're not actually researching anything at the moment. Uh, so we probably want to get on that. So... Uh, we want to definitely upgrade our freighters because credits are certainly one of the biggest things holding us back. Uh, we want to also increase refugee influx. Uh, what else do we want to grab here? Not much else before we need to build more civilian research structures. Uh, we haven't actually built any refinery ships yet, uh, but we will do that sometime soon. We want to upgrade our MAC cannons, that's for sure, and it's, mm, probably want to grab ourselves... Um, sophisticated artificial intelligence as well. So let's grab ourselves that. Uh, it costs 3,000 credits. Let's sell a bunch of um, stuff. There we go. Sophisticated AI. Wonderful. Then industry. Okay, cool. Uh, shipyard wise. We want to research ourselves the Halcyon class uh, light cruiser. Not because it's particularly powerful, but uh, well, mainly because the Pillar of Autumn, you know, the ship in the first Halo game. As a Halcyon class. Um, but they can take a lot of hits. They've got a stupid amount of health. Not a huge amount of firepower. But you stick them at the front of a fleet and they will tank for you. They will absorb a lot of shots. We actually have got um, seven of those uh, of our military research structures. We need to build one more before we can start researching the Infinity. Um, which is the Titan. Which <laughs> Once we built that, that's when we lead our charge to the Covenant homeworld. But uh, in the meantime, we just need to focus on spending most of our resources on digging in. So, as you can see, Harvest, uh, yeah, it's about to get laid waste to. Um, we're going to wait until we've defeated this first little Covenant incursion, waiting for the reinforcements from Kamroka, and then we're going to start building orbital weapons batteries around Harvest. And then the things should be relatively alright. Once we've built um, an orbital defense layer, like we've built around Via Taurus, here as you see with our Super Max uh, and the Sabre Project hang Hangers as well. Uh, actually, I need to queue up the building of the actual Sabres, uh, Space Superiority Fighters. As you see, once we've got that defense grid laid down, we're relatively all right, um, short of the Covenant sending in, like, an actual Titan or something. Um, but it's getting to that stage, which is kind of a problem. So, they are going to invade from the, all three of these worlds. So, what we need to do is, uh, a lot of our extractors are sort of out in front, which is quite annoying. But um, I've got to protect the world first, and... Uh, Extractor's second, really. So, we'll build the first Mac there. We'll get, get this constructor building stuff already. Might as well. Right, there we go. First Super Mac there. Wait, where's my Super Mac? Build it. There. There we go. So, we'll get that building a Mac. And then we're going to keep our forces relative, just here. I want none of them auto attacking. I'm going to wait for them to come to us. Oh, crap. Um. Okay, fall back. Fall back. They're approaching us real quick. We might want to build some emergency shelters. Build emergency shelters. <laughs> They're going to start glassing the planet. And looking at the size of this Covenant force, we can't take them on with this fleet. We need to wait for those reinforcements to arrive before we can do anything. So fall back. I'm not going to lose these ships. Activate hard burn if you have to. There we go. We're going to let them glass the planet a bit and then wait for those reinforcements to arrive. Where are those reinforcements? They're on their way, but oh my god, this is a big Covenant fleet. Um, we cannot defeat them ourselves. Okay, turn around and engage them because they're all relatively separate. So if we turn around now and get our max firing, we should be able to take out a few of them. We're going to have to hold our ground. Here we go. First Covenant ship. CCS class battlecruiser. Open fire. Okay, boom. First one destroyed. Next one. Got to reload those max. Got to reload those max really damn fast. Because they're going to be closing. Engage the next CCS. Fire those nukes at will, by the way. Second CCS class. Okay, obliterated. Boom, they're coming at us one at a time, which is perfect. We're not going to advance towards them. We're going to wait for those reinforcements before we actually push them back. There we go, they're almost here. They're almost here. We've got reinforcements coming from multiple worlds. We're going to switch auto-attack back on. 
and create... Okay, there we go. Before they glass the planet too much, we're going to start going for um, this light cruiser here. Here we go. They've already taken catastrophic damage on like half of the ships in this fleet. Here we go. The cavalry have arrived. Auto attack. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, yes. This is like Admiral Cole's victory at harvest. They are glassing the planet, the, the surface of the planet, but um, you know we can repair that. That's fine. Screw you. Eat this, Covenant bastards. Annihilated. There we go. Right. How's the second fleet doing? Well, first fleet. Hello. They've got the bulk of the. Oh, hello. We've got a heavy cruiser. Right. Uh, this fleet, you need to join in this battle now. Engage that heavy cruiser. Everything in the gravity will attack that heavy cruiser. That's going to be the thing that kills us. Look, there we go. Our first salvo did manage to get its shields down. It's obliterating the first fleet. Dear God, look at that. See what I mean? Tiny fleet. Tiny Covenant fleet just utterly shredding us. But this fleet arriving should hopefully manage to um, put an end to that. Come on, come on, come on. Launch nukes. Yes! Eat this, Covenant bastards. Look at this, though. We're taking pretty catastrophic losses. The Heavy Destroyer should really be our main target. Go for that Heavy Destroyer. There we go. We are managing to finish them off, though. It looks like our capital ships are relatively intact. Look, they're trying to retreat now. And that is, even though there was only a small fleet, that's a lot of expense for, for the Covenant. Covenant ships are bloody expensive. But look, we did it. We did it. And look, now we go. We got some more reinforcements. We got a light, a light carrier and all sorts arriving. Oh, well, that was a bit of a nightmare, wasn't it? But we managed to actually hold them off, which is partially surprising. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, wow. Okay, the planet took a lot of damage during that. Let's get some constructor drones rebuilt. And let's get a defense grid laid down. Before we start rebuilding those extractors, the first priority is get the supermax online. As I said, that 100% first priority. Next supermac. Next supermac. Let's turn this into a fortress world. Saber hangar. We also want to then build an orbital command center. And then a repair yard for all of them. These fleets go ahead over to where the repair yard is going to be. Then more saber hangers. More saber hangers. Build loads of interceptors because the saber hangers protect the Mac guns. And right, and also build more emergency facilities. I feel like this plant's going to get glassed a lot, so. Yeah. Whew! Well, okay, I'm actually past part of me is surprised we managed to actually hold that off. Um, but I'm also very, very happy. So, you know, we've got a heavy shipyard as well, which means we can get ourselves an Artemis. Have we even got an Artemis yet? I don't think we do. No, we don't actually have any Artemis class um, ships yet. And the Artemis, once we start getting Artemis class uh, battle cruisers online, those are powerful ships. But wow, okay, I'm surprised we managed that, but somehow we did, so yeah, I ain't complaining. Right, let's research that. Uh, we also need to get ourselves some Phoenix class refits. Let's actually upgrade the amount of capital ships we can have um, industry-wise. Um, anything that increases our build rate? Uh, max population increase. Oh, okay, we're already researching that. That's fine. We're researching sophisticated AI as well, which should be quite helpful. Um, okay. Hull points increase. Increase armor and stuff. Make our ships a bit more survivable. That would be good. Sell a bunch of titanium. 
We get Spartan Assault Teams. We can start the Spartan Project. That'd be cool. But that just increases bombing damage. So we're not invading the Covenant space for a while yet. Uh, oh, hello. No, here we go. Upgrade our Mac Cannons. Look at this. Damage increase from 38% to 47%. That is very, very significant. It's a very expensive upgrade. But that'll upgrade our Super Max as well. So let's go for that. Right. Then let's start building ourselves a hell of a lot of ships. I mean a hell of a lot of ships. Um, but first, we need to build ourselves another R&D lab. Uh, a military one. Where can we... Ah, here we go. We can upgrade the logistics capacity here. Oh, we crashed the titanium market. Whoopsie. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Here we go. Final military research lab. Build that. Wonderful. And then we'll be able to research the infinity. And take the fight to the Covenant. Let's put all of these ships all in one massive great big fleet. I want, uh, I want to have a loose um, actual formation here. Because the Covenants do actually use area of effect weapons. Uh, which certainly ruin your day. So, yeah. If you've got them all grouped together. I want them all grouped as well. All grouped and none auto attacking. Let's get them all here. Behind the orbital max. If you put them all on auto attack, then bad things can happen. And there we go. I right, got one constructor ship. Uh, oh, we got multiple constructor ships. Here we go. We got the Mac cannons coming online. Whew! Okay, so when I first, when I did my first playthrough, that first, I was not ready for that first um, incursion into my space, and I lost a planet. And then, like, it's like. Once the Covenant pick up momentum, there's nothing you can do. Because it takes so much time to build these these layered defences. That's so, why, right, in law, the uh, the Covenant actually... Not the Covenant. The humans actually, they sacrificed colonies. Some colonies, they only left, like, two ships defending them. Just because they needed time to prepare the inner colonies. Uh, which is kind of sad when you think about it. But, hey, let's not think about it too hard. Um... I think we do actually want to keep our forces relatively concentrated in one big fleet. We could have three separate fleets, but then each fleet would just get annihilated one by one. So, you know, I think we're going to have one big central fleet. The Covenant are going to attempt to retake Harvest, so we might as well keep them all at Harvest. And we have enough orbital defences that any other world um, can actually hold its own for a significant amount of time. And since you guys uh, here... I've finished building everything. Build a few more Supermax. Just maybe another two in the middle. Overlapping arcs of fire. And then that's going to be pretty much impregnable. Uh, same with you guys. Upgrade your tactical capacity. And build more Supermax. And now look at that. We've got overlapping arcs of fire. All of these super Mac cannons. Making them pretty much fortress worlds. And we just need to do the same thing with Harvest. And then we can work on our economy and build more ships. But it's quite important we get these defences done first. I believe I heard we had an Artemis up and running. We do! Hello! Look at this beauty. And look at what the Artemis has. Cove Killer. Specialized Mac rounds, nicknamed Cove Killers, that disrupt shielding systems on enemy ships with powerful EMPs. These experimental rounds fragment into multiple projectiles when in proximity to designated targets, able to wreak havoc on shielding in a wide area. And we're going to grab ourselves that. These have got the longest range and most powerful Macs out of all the UNSC Navy. So we need to have these things. Uh, that is for sure. Uh, I'm going to tell him to go get join that fleet. Uh, we should really set the rally point to harvest so they all automatically go to harvest and this phoenix class colony ship you can just head back um, until we can build our anchor class star bases um, which we're not building for a while there's not much point having it we will build a star base soon though um yeah it'll be worth doing at some point right we can actually soon start researching the infinity which will certainly be worth doing but in the meantime uh, we've got our work cut out upgrading our industry and the like uh, we can actually build mining ships, so on all worlds that haven't fully upgraded their logistics capacity, which actually isn't many. Uh, oh, here we go. Madrigal. Oh, you don't really have many... You have two deuterium asteroids, I guess. 
We'll upgrade it. We'll build ourselves a mining ship. Uh, that's titanium. That's titanium. Okay, we'll build it here. Here we go. It'll just increase uh, some of our revenue. You haven't been fully upgraded either. Again, you only have two asteroids, but oh, whatever. There we go. Build a mining ship. Just try and increase our um, income from these worlds. Reach is a bit better. They've got two deuterium asteroids and stuff, so probably worth just upgrading the income of these worlds. All our worlds with the most income are the worlds we've had to fortify the most. Um, uh, fully upgraded. Have we got any logistics capacity? No. All logistics slots have been used up at Sigma Octanus. Oh, well. Has enough income as it is, though. Hello, we haven't built a commercial station here. We might as well build it inside the uh, inside the Mac grid. Um, let's build ourselves a mining ship here as well. There we go. Via Taurus is going to become a bit of a powerhouse. You're going to want emergency facilities here as well. There we go. Let's build emergency facilities on all of these worlds. They're going to need them. Especially Harvest. Because that already got glass slightly, so I <laughs> fully upgraded it. How are these big Mac cannons coming online? They're alright. Uh, what's the rally point for this place? Let's just check that the rally point for this world is actually Harvest. There we go. And now we can start churning out some Halcyon class light cruisers. Yeah, it's not really worth selling titanium at this point. It's worth so little. Because we've been selling so much of it. Now, these are just going to absorb damage for us. It's good to have about five of them. You know, have quite a varied fleet. You don't want to just build a fleet out of entirely destroyers. Which my fleet does have quite a few destroyers. Uh, not a huge amount of frigates. But as I said, I tend to just use frigates if I just need to replace losses. I don't think they're really that great for mainline um, units, really. Right. Um, we really want to get this. But we need to have... A few more civilian um, thingy and bobbies. I know that's a technical term. Ah, where do we have logistics capacity spare? It's on these fortress worlds, isn't it? Yeah. Build me uh, more civilian research labs. We're doing quite a lot of development here, aren't we? Civilian technologies, build them. Thank you very much. And we can actually do some more research. Let's look at this fleet. Oh, this is a glorious looking fleet, isn't it? Slip space anomaly. Hello, they're coming back for more. Wait, what was that? Super cruiser. Oh, snap. Okay, they're sending like a proper ship after us now. I think we pissed them off. Because they ain't kidding with it with a super cruiser. Okay. Right, auto attack is off, right? N no, none auto attacking. I want all ships to hurry up and get over here. We've got the Artemis on its way. We've got some of the orbital weapons platforms online. We should be able to hold them off here. Should being the key term. That one isn't built yet. This one is almost built. Fifty-five percent. Okay. Well, here we go. This is the first test of our um. Of our new fleet. We could probably... I don't know. There's a big ship. And I've seen single Covenant ships take out entire fleets before. Trust me, it would not be the first time. Uh, where's my Artemis? It was here, wasn't it? There it is. Look at that beauty. Gorgeous, isn't she? Uh, yeah. Where's that orbital cannon? Is that it? No, that's Orbital Command Center, which we haven't actually finished building yet. Oh, there's the Orbital Gun. Look at these massive Mac cannons. Hopefully, we should be alright. Okay, I'll cut to the action. Let's go. They're not auto-attacking. Here we go. He's warped into the system. I say warp. Slip spaced in. That's a big ship. Okay, we're going to wait until it enters the kill zone of this Mac. There we go, it's already taken out one of our refineries. That's fine. Our fighters are engaging. But the rest of the fleet is holding off. 
See, it's just engaging our fighters right now. I'm not going to let it see it's staying outside the range of the Super Mac. I'm going to wait for it to, to enter in. We're going to wait for it to come to us. Wait. Oh shit, it just blew it up. Okay, never mind. All ships open fire. <laughs> it just obliterated our orbital Mac before it could fire. It went straight for the orbital Mac. Okay, well our fighters have softened it up, so we should be able to do a pretty decent amount of damage here. Open fire! He's got some long range weapons on this big boy. Look at that. But yeah, we obliterated it. Okay, we're alright. Okay, fall back. Okay, it did just take out our orbital Mac in one shot though, which uh, doesn't bode well, does it? Oh crap, they got another one. Oh, it's a frigate there, that's alright. Oh, this Mac should be... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It slip spaced in in range of one of our uh, Mac cannons, so that was a short lived slip space jump for it. Right, so let's rebuild that Mac. We've got another one here. We've got another one here. Uh, we need more tactical slots, though. There we go. Right, and now we actually have quite a bit of money to spend, so we're going to build some... Oh, I do actually want a Phoenix-class support vessel, and I would also like another Artemis. Um, we could build a Valiant-class super heavy cruiser. I think we already have one of those, though, don't we? Let's build another Artemis. I like just having loads of those, because they're just so unbelievably powerful. And we'll build ourselves... We have our Halcyons en route, don't we? So, some more Halberds. Titanium's worth a bit again. So... Build a bunch more destroyers. Uh, we will also want some more escort vessels, so some more stalwarts. So maybe like 10 of those, because the Covenant, especially when they start getting their carriers out, they. Um, oh, hello, we're running out of fleet capacity. Uh, yeah, they certainly like to um, start using their fighters a lot. So yeah. Industry. We start increasing our titanium extraction, which wouldn't be a bad idea, I don't think. Oh, deuterium filtering. Let's grab that now. That's going to take a long time to upgrade, though. Um, actually, we can't do it until we've built... Um... Oh, we haven't even done this one yet. Let's do that. I was wondering why I couldn't research it. An armament. Have we upgraded it? No, still upgrading our Mac cannons. Okay, that's alright. We've got sophisticated AI though, which is nice. Uh, improves a bunch of stuff. We'll increase our hull points and stuff as well. Uh, and also, let's start researching the Infinity. We might as well get going on it. Oh, we've got a Phoenix class refit. Where is it? There it is. So this is actually what the Spirit of Fire was. Uh, What's this? UNSC? No, 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 Spirit of Fire. Oh, if the Spirit of Fire doesn't work, it doesn't fit. Okay, we'll just call it Spirit. <laughs> GNSC Spirit. There we go. Um, we'll give that the ability to use uh, Firebase deployment, target enemy planets, Marine Boarding Party, or EMP Mac. Contingent of Marines and ODSTs at the target. Capital ship, saving its abilities, health regen. Yeah, let's do that one. We've got EMPs uh, Max on our Artemis things. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, we're doing surprisingly well, all things considered. I set them to be aggressors, but the Covenant aren't actually being all that aggressive. Uh, oh, look, our sabers are up and running. Look at that. Look at these buggers. Look at that. They actually have shields. As oh, they don't have shields. It's weird. They should have shields. They have shields in Halo Reach. Um, but they do not have shields in this, apparently. So, oh, well, what do I know? Hello, didn't want to do that. Um, can we build ourselves another trade station? Appreciate that. Um, we haven't got enough civilian labs yet, do we? No, we need more civilian labs. Okay, build a civilian lab as well. Wonderful. So, we're relatively cozy. Because the Covenant haven't attacked us in full force yet, but trust me, they know where we are now, and uh, they will.